you made it. You've reached the end of this journey and that's no small feat. You're at the end of this thing. It's been a long road, but here you are, having absorbed a wealth of knowledge about web design. That's great. You stuck it out and hopefully, you learned a thing or two about web design. Maybe you even discovered a new passion or skill you didn't know you had. Kind of like when I started out on dirty jobs, I had no clue what I was doing, but I learned as I went. Each challenge was a new opportunity to grow and adapt. Web design is a lot like that. It's a field where you learn by doing, by experimenting, and sometimes by making mistakes. It's a constantly changing field, so you've got to be ready to adapt and learn new stuff all the time. New technologies, new design trends, and new user expectations keep things exciting and dynamic. This guide has given you a taste of the basics, but there's a whole lot more to discover. The world of web design is vast and ever-evolving. Think of this as your foundation. Just like a sturdy building needs a solid base, your knowledge of web design is the groundwork for everything you'll create. Now it's time to build on it. Each new skill you learn, each new project you undertake, adds another brick to your web design expertise. Just like any good construction project, you need the right tools and the right mindset to succeed. Equip yourself with the latest software, stay updated with industry trends, and always be ready to innovate. So let's grab our hard hats and tool belts and get to work. The journey doesn't end here, it's just beginning. We're gonna dive into some important stuff that'll help you navigate the exciting world of web design. From user experience to responsive design, there's so much more to explore. Remember, the learning never stops, and that's what makes this field so cool. Let's do this. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in web design. First things first, we gotta talk about the user. Who are they? What are they looking for? Why are they on your site? These are questions you gotta ask yourself with every single project. User-centered design means putting the user at the heart of everything you do. It's about making websites that are easy to use, navigate, and understand. Think about it, if people can't figure out your site, they're gonna leave. And that's not good for anyone. So, how do you make your site user-friendly? Start by understanding your target audience. What are their needs and goals? Once you know who you're designing for, you can create a website that meets their specific needs. Remember, it's all about the user. Now, let's talk about visuals. Just like a good billboard, your website needs to grab people's attention and guide them where you want them to go. That's where visual hierarchy comes in. Think of it like this. You've got a big, juicy steak in front of you. You're gonna notice that first, right? Then maybe the sides, like the mashed potatoes and asparagus, that's visual hierarchy in action. You're naturally drawn to the most important elements first. Typography plays a huge role in this too. The right fonts can make your site look professional, trustworthy, and easy to read. The wrong fonts? Well, let's just say they can make your site look like it was designed by a five-year-old with crayons. Not good. These days people are browsing the web on everything from their phones to their tablets to their smart refrigerators. Okay, maybe not refrigerators yet, but you get the point. Your website needs to look good on all these different devices. That's where responsive design comes in. It's all about creating websites that adapt to different screen sizes and orientations. So whether someone's on their phone on the bus or their laptop at home, your site will still look awesome. Think of it like this. You wouldn't wear a snowsuit to the beach, right? You'd wear something more appropriate for the environment. Responsive design is all about making sure your website is dressed for success, no matter where it's being viewed. Section five, the importance of continuous learning in web design. Remember what I said about web design being a constantly changing field? Well, I wasn't kidding. New technologies, trends, and best practices are popping up all the time. If you wanna stay ahead of the game, you gotta be a lifelong learner. Think of it like this. You wouldn't expect to become a master plumber by just reading one book, would you? You'd need to get your hands dirty, make some mistakes, and learn from your experiences. Web design is no different. Luckily, there are tons of resources out there to help you learn and grow. Online courses, tutorials, blogs, podcasts, you name it, it's out there. So, embrace the learning process and never stop exploring. Section six, building a stellar portfolio. Showcasing your skills and experience. You know what they say? Show, don't tell. This principle is especially crucial in the world of web design, where visuals speak louder than words. That's especially true in the world of web design, 
Your portfolio is not just a collection of your work, it's a narrative of your journey, your skills, and your creativity. A killer portfolio is your ticket to landing clients and impressing potential employers. It's your chance to make a lasting first impression. Think of your portfolio as your online showroom. It's a space where you can curate your best work and present it in the most compelling way possible. It's where you get to display your best work and highlight your skills. Each project should tell a story of your design process and the value you bring. Don't be afraid to show off your creativity and technical prowess. Use your portfolio to demonstrate your unique style and innovative approach. But here's the thing, don't just throw a bunch of pretty pictures up there. Your portfolio should be more than just eye candy. Take the time to write detailed case studies for each project. These case studies should provide context and insight into your work. Explain your design process, the challenges you faced, and the solutions you came up with. This level of detail shows your problem-solving skills and your ability to think critically. This shows potential clients that you're not just a pretty face. You've got the brains to back it up. It demonstrates your expertise and your commitment to delivering high-quality work. Including client testimonials and feedback can also add credibility to your portfolio. It reassures potential clients that you have a track record of satisfied customers. Remember, your portfolio is a living document. Keep it updated with your latest projects and achievements. This shows that you are active and continuously improving your skills. In the end, a well-crafted portfolio is more than just a showcase of your work. It's a powerful tool that can open doors and create opportunities in your web design career. Section 7. Collaboration is key working together for success. Web design might seem like a solitary pursuit, but the truth is, it's a team sport. From developers to content writers to SEO specialists, you'll often find yourself working with a diverse group of people, and that's a good thing. Collaboration brings fresh perspectives, sparks creativity, and helps you create truly exceptional websites. Think of it like this. You wouldn't try to build a house all by yourself, would you? You'd need architects, electricians, plumbers, a whole team of experts to get the job done right. Web design is no different. Embrace collaboration and watch your projects soar. Section 8. Exploring Advanced Concepts. Pushing the Boundaries of Web Design. Once you've got the basics down, it's time to start exploring some of the more advanced concepts and technologies out there. We're talking about stuff like artificial intelligence, virtual reality, augmented reality, and progressive web apps. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mike, this sounds complicated, and yeah, it can be. But that's part of what makes it so exciting. These cutting-edge technologies are changing the way we interact with the web, and as a web designer, you've got the opportunity to be at the forefront of this revolution. Section 9. The Power of Networking – Connecting with Fellow Designers Networking might sound like a dirty word, but trust me, it's not as scary as it seems. It's actually a crucial part of growing as a professional. In fact, it's one of the most valuable things you can do for your career. Building a network can open doors you never even knew existed. Think of it like this, you're at a party and you strike up a conversation with someone. You find common ground and start sharing ideas, you hit it off, exchange numbers, and maybe even become friends. This simple interaction can lead to unexpected opportunities. Down the line, that person might introduce you to someone who knows someone who's looking for a web designer, or perhaps they have a project that needs your expertise. See where I'm going with this? Networking is not just about immediate gains, but about planting seeds for future growth. Networking is all about building relationships and making connections. Attend industry events, join online communities, and participate in forums. Don't be afraid to reach out to people you admire. Send them a message, comment on their work, or ask for advice. You never know where those connections might lead. They could lead to collaborations, job offers, or even lifelong friendships. So take the plunge and start connecting today. Section 10, Giving Back, Contributing to the Web Design Community. Once you've gained some experience and knowledge, consider giving back to the web design community. Share your insights, mentor aspiring designers, and contribute to open source projects. Think of it like this. Remember when you were first starting out and you had a million questions? Now's your chance to pay it forward and help the next generation of web designers find their way. Plus, giving back feels good. It's a great way to stay connected to the community, learn new things, and make a real difference in the world of web design. Section 11. Conclusion. Embracing the future of web design. So, there you have it. 
The world of web design is vast, ever-changing and full of opportunities. Embrace the challenges, never stop learning, and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Remember, the best way to predict the future is to create it. So go out there and make your mark on the web. And hey, if you ever find yourself feeling stuck, just remember what I always say, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. The web design world is your oyster. Go get it.